G'day everybody, it's me again. A little bit of an update here. I've been working on uh, the uh, switch mode uh, power supply flyback driver. I don't know if that's really what to call it. Uh, it's more like a pulse width modulation push-pull. I think I should get that right maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, TL494 MOSFET drivers, MOSFETs, and it's in a push-pull configuration with uh, 7 plus 7 turns. And uh, I've tuned it uh, pretty well. Um, we're running at about 20 kilohertz, well it's actually 40 kilohertz, um, 20 kilohertz per MOSFET, um, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, show you the results here for 12 volts. You can almost just hear it. See, 20 kilohertz per MOSFET, nice gate drives, not too dirty at all, not too dirty at all. And uh, with the fan on, it will run pretty much continuously without cooking the MOSFETs. Um, this is the very first one, run of it, of course. Well, not the very first run, but one of the first runs of it in 12 volts. Um, I will plan to try the 12 and the, sorry, 24 and 36 as well. Um, running the uh, drive section off 12 and obviously just uh, switching the 36 for the uh, flyback. Um, it's another bi file around coil seem to be having some good luck with them at the moment and uh, that's about it sorry I don't have a schematic I've kind of whacked it together out of bits and pieces of everybody else's um, and done some uh, modifications of my own to the circuit to make it do what I want potentiometer on the uh, left is for dead time potentiometer on the right is for uh, frequency and like I said it is operating in a push-pull like a uh, ZVS driver, but it's uh, yeah, it's not self-oscillating. Its oscillations are controlled by the TL494, which means that uh, you get much cleaner drive. See, they're only barely warm, only barely warm. You uh, get a much cleaner drive to your MOSFETs, so they switch on and off fully, without them staying out of the linear region, which means that they generate a hell of a lot less heat, and uh, they don't seem to have too much trouble. Um, I also believe that my uh, 7 plus 7 turn primary has a lot more inductance than say a 4 plus 4 um, and uh, that's putting less load on the MOSFETs as well and I'm getting the results out of tuning the uh, circuit to suit the uh, flyback better I suppose you could say. You hear that? Uh, you can't hear. Well you might just be able to see that on the camera the leakage there. Anyway, well, like I said, I will try this on higher voltage. Thanks for watching.